Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're playing 1-2 cash games, buying for this game's $200. Here we open cutoff, small blind, 3 bets, and call position here, 6-5-2. And bets for 18. Uh, I think we're just going to call here, and then we'll jam on any non-diamond ace, king, or queen, I think. Against bets. King turn, obviously not good. That's 40. Uh, I'm going to call one more here. Take it to the river. And a three on the end. So four liner comes in. I don't think either of us has tons of 4x in this three bet pot. They maybe have, I mean, we have like ace four suit and pocket fours. Um, Jack's without a diamond. I don't think they're three betting any of these sets pre. So it's like basically like they're saying they have aces or ace king. I'm curious if they jam like king, queen, king, jack for value. So Jack's without a diamond. I'm kind of thinking about calling this one down for that reason. Um, let me think about this. I'm going to fold, but maybe should be calling. Uh, here we have a limp raising ace jack get called. Leads into us here. Small with top pair, top kicker will be raising. And then a good turn card. We turn top two. Let's bring a second flush draw, but overall pretty good turn. So we'll pop the turn. Balls, seven river. So we lose to a seven and clubs. Um, clubs are backdoor though, and I don't think they have much seven X. So I'm actually going to still jam this for value. If I had ace king, I'd probably check. Um, but I think we're still going to go for value. This is close. Probably about the worst value hand I'd go for here. And oh, we see the fold. Down here, open ace, king, small blind, flats, checking back, nuts on the turn. Um, it decides to lead out. I think we're just going to raise here, targeting like their two pairs, pair and draws. Balls, three river. Um, a boat comes in, but not. It's the least worrisome one here. So definitely still a jam for pot. Eventually calls, good versus queen, ten. Very nice run out for us. All right, cold four bet time. So we've got under gun open, hijack three bet, we cold four. Sizing up a little bit, uh, just because we're deeper with the three better. So normally I don't do this in like three bet pots. I'm not sure I should be doing some four bets either as far as changing size, but um, they put in a five bet. All right, so I think we just call. Small sample this player, but potentially wild which makes me lean towards potentially calling here. I mean, how deep are we to start? I don't think I can just jam. I mean, I can, but we'll just call here. And then any board that's not an ace or king, we'll just get in. Uh, if they had really tight stats, I might even consider an exploit fold. They jam, call, hopefully as jacks, as kings. And we're gonna get stacked in a big pot here, unfortunately. Uh, so we have undergun open, hijack three bets, cold four bet jacks. Not loving if they jam, but I think 100 blinds effective with a quarter of the stack, and we just call it off. Again, really don't love it. As kings, we're just running into kings today. Need runner, runner. Not going to work. So we end up calling it off. I mean, especially in that formation, it doesn't feel very good where it goes undergun, hijack, and we threw that small blind. I think call off for 100 with 25 blinds already in, but I guess I should be refreshing and checking that because it feels like a spot that we just like always get it in bad. <laughs> we're like literally just praying for a flip. Um, open button, small blind, three bets, flat eights here, king five, four. Bets call. Two on the turn. Uh, checks to us. I think we're going to check turn. Six river. Pretty good river, actually. I don't think they have much three X. No over card door, eights. So I'm probably calling this one if they decide to bet. Lean, lean and call here. Yeah, I don't think the three is super relevant. Maybe the three bet is three suited again because they three bet 15%. But other than that, with that being the nuts on the turn, they're probably going to bet too. So. Ooh, over bets though. See, now this is really, really interesting because when they go this size, I feel like they're basically just saying I have a three, which again, I don't think they have ace three or pocket threes really as played. So I think they're going to bet turn quite a bit. I think it's reasonable to go for a big bet with a set. I don't know if they do, though. So I'm actually going to make a pretty big hero call here, I think. 
Ooh, two pair. All right, so King Six suited gets us. Decide to make a very light call down. Very, very light call down. We're no good. Um, Undergun opens three bet jacks here. Get called a six turn, checking turn. Say a bet will call one. And spade river check. Don't think we're calling down on this one. Maybe call the spade, but really hard peel to find bluffs on these runouts, I think, when this flush comes in. And then also not having spade, like I said, I don't think jacks get to call. This is a nine that's not a spade I might be tempted to call. Let it go on the end. All right, so opening out of the gun here, small blind three bets, flat nines in position. Take it to the flop, 10 to 5, 5. Uh, I'll go small call, turn five. That's small. So we're going to call one more here, and I believe we fold any river. That's not a nine. Um, so it's interesting if they bet the river now, because I don't think they bet aces, kings, or queens, so they only have a ten if they bet. So this is a very, very interesting one. We Obviously, you're just chopping with the board, though, is the problem. So like, if we make a hero call, it's the chop. <laughs> so... Um, but the thing is, like, if he checks, I might actually try to... I don't know, because the aces still beat us. Um, they jam, so let me double-check make sure I'm reading this right. I'm just playing the board. Yeah, so. We'll end up folding here. I don't think he gets to jam aces, but it could be wrong. And then, like, so he can have ace-5 suited, and then he can have, like, ace-10 suited, king-10 suited, stuff like that. So we'll just fold the nines. If we... We might call it, like, our jacks, though, because we at least, like, beat some of his bluffs, whereas we're chopping with nines. All right, so going to jam at this time, not doing this pier. So this is hijack versus button. Ace five suited. Don't get snap called, which is great. Tank call will not be good either, though. So we're hoping for a fold eventually. And eventually calls with ace king. Oh boy, we need a five. Or some backdoors. Backdoor straight draw. All right, not going to get there. Unfortunately, the jam with ace-5, not going to work. They have ace-king. All right, open tens on the gun, cut off three bets. Big line cold call off a short stack. We'll just call. It's kind of awkward post-flop because they, the cutoff's going to have to play pretty honestly here with how much money they've got behind. Now, like, they could just bet, like, ace-king, ace-queen because they got the gutter and such, but that's 25. And just call. Turn three check. Uh, if we weren't this deep to start with, I would probably be check jamming quite a bit on turn, but I think we're deeper where we maybe aren't. Uh, check, check, eight river. I think can go for a big size here. I think this is okay. So trying to get like pocket nines or like ace king to level into a call. When they threw that as pre, I'm not, you know, there's not tons of pairs we beat. Which is concerning. Um, so maybe I should be leaning more towards block targeting like what his range is like here. But I think I like betting the tens. My imagination is he's betting jacks on the turn still. So anyways, we bet tens, get called, had ace four. So pair four, same sort of idea, ace four, ace five suited too. So open we three bet to get called. And then not gonna be betting this very often. So if we do, I think going big is fine, especially when they're shorter sets it up as like a two street hand here. Jam we call. Nines, ace jack, ultimate cooler there, and we got them dead on the turn. Um here we open King Ten suited, small blind three bets, flat in position. Flop two pair, very nice. Uh, bets out. Can do some raising. Um, I think we're actually going to being deeper. Whereas if we're like 100, 115 lines, maybe not. Um, get called 7 turn. Board continues to be wet here. We'll go ahead and bet turn. Mainly don't want to see the queen jack or clubs come in. 
calls, five of hearts. So I'm not as worried about backdoor hearts. So I think this still becomes a jam. Uh, trying to target their ace king that threw that's pre. Um, king queen stuff like that. So we'll go for the jam on the end. Hope and get called. And they fold king ten good. All right, YouTube, that's the end of a cash game session and unfortunately a losing one here for us today. So we played for four hours at 2-5 and 1-2 in the 2-5 game, 328 hands minus $1,669. 1-2, 1,315 hands minus 631. Total loss minus 2,301. The third day with the Michigan and New Jersey pool did not go nearly as well as the first two days did for us. So hope you at least enjoyed the hands and the video today. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my channel in the description below.